is the title race on? Is the Bedway Premiership title race on? Sundowns just won 3-0 against Cape Town City, meaning Sundowns are now number two and Pirates is number one with a three points difference. Does this mean that we have a two-way title race in South Africa? I mean, when last did this happen? I mean, the previous seasons, Sundowns would just win the league. I mean, with no one coming to challenge them. Hello guys and welcome again to my channel. If you're new to this channel, we speak about soccer. We do soccer highlights, soccer reviews, soccer previews, and anything to do with soccer. And about 90% of you guys who watch my content haven't subscribed. So please do subscribe as that helps the channel and helps me in terms of future content that I have to release. So instead of wasting too much time, let's get into the video of today. In today's video, we'll be looking at the match between Sundowns and Cape Town City. Now, are we having a title race against South Africa? I mean, it's getting interesting when we're having a title race. We can't have the league ending even before the league ends. We know that Sundowns are already going to win the league. I mean, it's getting a bit boring. So now, now, this time we've got a two-way title race. Orlando Pirates is number one. Sundowns is number two with a three points difference between them. So coming into this match, I feel like Sundowns was in pressure because Orlando Pirates had a six points difference between them. So Sundowns had to make sure that they win this game. I mean, in the previous matches, Shalulu never started. I don't know started in the arrow and Shalulu will come off the bench. But he started today and he's got two beautiful goals. So I don't know. I feel like they were really under pressure to say we want something from this game. And they're playing at home. And I think they were back to, in my opinion, I feel like they were back to how I know sometimes to be playing beautiful, attractive football. You know, passing, passing, trying to um, make combination passes. But even the width and the version of the government is um, soccer, um, playing style. I feel like it's passing, 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 but it's a bit quicker you know, compared to the um, predecessor, Roland Mukwena. But which I think is still effective. So I felt like they came in there saying, you know what, we want to be aggressive, we want to be aggressive, we want to try and create more goals. And I mean, to add to the goals, what a beautiful goal that Ribeiro scored. Eh? What a star, what a good player also he is. So yeah, I feel like Sundowns came in here prepared that, okay, we want to be strong, we want to win, we want to go, go, you know. And one other thing that I, I, I feel like is it's... it's they at least they didn't concede this time around. I mean, they've conceded in the previous um, games that they played, and I've even mentioned in one of my videos that I think it's like they can't just keep it a clean sheet. And looking into Cape Town City's point of view, I feel like um, Cape Town City, from how I know um, Eric Tinkler, the coach of Cape Town City, is a coach that likes to play attractive football, which is the kind of football that I think is more interesting, where you create more chances, you know, not just way to hit them on the counter. So I don't know what happened. Um, I feel like they came in maybe a little bit defensive, you know, but you should have taken it, the game to them and say, you know what, I'm going to try to go all out. I mean, these guys are wounded, you know, Pirates is number one, and they want to catch up with Pirates, maybe come with that full force. But yeah, at the end of the match, uh, Sundowns wins 3-0, which sets a good match in the telecom knockout, which is going to be between Chiefs in the weekend. Let's see what's going to happen there. 